what's up you too do not mind my dirty carpet i am going to get this clean uh, but anyway i got a new drive shaft uh, in two pieces which threw me off but i'm gonna uh, compare these two sizes and going to get into it all right so guys unfortunately this is the wrong drive shaft i told him rear drive shaft <sighs> nothing every whole right at o'reilly's or any other uh, auto parts store uh it got me a little bit i'm not gonna lie but i'm not gonna let this um get to me uh really sucks because i was really looking forward to getting it back and today but apparently i can't so right now i'm looking around like uh salvage yards near me and other places for a uh drive shaft and i found one i get it shipped to me like 164 compared to 215 i had paid or i can just wait till tomorrow and go that direction or sometime this week go that direction uh to the salvage uh place to get the drive shaft for me and i go from there but it just don't make no sense or i just see if they got a rear or something i gotta figure something out but if not i'm not gonna it ain't into the world so yeah so guys yeah they did order the wrong part they ordered for front. I told them rear the whole time. I said rear, rear, rear. But they don't make care of the uh, rear uh, draw shaft. Uh, lesson learned for me: uh, just to go to, just go to like a L, you know, a salvage yard or something. But they got plenty of tie holes and stuff. Or going to Facebook Market, which I was looking uh, for part outs and stuff. And just I'm gonna just go there uh, from now on. I'm not ordering no stuff from uh, O'Reilly's like drive shaft or anything of that was because they can't get what i need um going to events now i'm going to return something else so i'm getting my money's worth except for that i only got like 188 back and i spent 215 because of the freight so i'm not even uh tripping to be honest uh, it's whatever um yeah nothing to go home uh like i said i ain't gonna let this like deter me or beat me up or anything it just, I was just so hyped and stoked to get it running today, but I couldn't. So it is what it is at the end of the day. And I'm using my work van because I usually just throw parts in the back and stuff. I can do that with my car, but I mean, why not just drive this? So yeah, next stop. All right, guys. So that's going to be it for this video. Uh, like I said, I was kind of disappointed because how in the hell I tell y'all what I exactly need face to face and y'all still order the wrong part. But like I said, it's whatever. Um, next time I'm gonna look, you know, at a savage yard or any part outs uh, for this type of truck, especially. Um, it's kind of weird that it's hard to come by things and it's tons of trucks out, uh, out here especially for like these old Riley's um, part stores or events. Like how come y'all don't have like the whole catalog of what's needed for these cars and stuff? Um, sometimes I think I say, maybe I need to try to open up something like to make things easier for folks and stuff. I think that'd be pretty good, pretty clever. Mm, I don't know. Maybe I'm just thinking too much right about now, but I'm gonna just be patient. And I'm gonna check one place tomorrow. Or oh, I might order this one, but I really don't wanna order it because I don't know how long it's gonna take it to come in. So, like I said, you gotta be patient, that's all. So, if I could check the one place up the road, cause they got like six Tahoes, that's like four by two. Um, And they all like on low mileage and they just got wrecked to shit. But I'm pretty sure they got uh, some drive shafts that I need so I can, you know, grab them from there. And I think that would be pretty much fun. Uh, any tips or ideas? Let me know. I'm going to take these um, Bushwhacker um, fender flares off. Probably uh, do them. And um, just go from there. So, see y'all, man. Be safe.